Hello reformers and welcome to The Surge. Now, this game is a hardcore action RPG in the vein of Dark Souls. It has a variety of different gameplay elements unique to it though that I don't think I've ever seen before in a game. And we're here at the start of the tutorial level. Now, there's a reason why I haven't shown the beginning of this. And that's because, well, I'm not allowed to. Yes, I'm not actually allowed to show the beginning because it is very intriguing. There's a very intriguing, interesting beginning to the game. And, well, you're going to have to see for yourselves. Anyway, there is a link in the description to the Steam store page if you want to check it out. And I believe this game was developed by some of the same people that worked on Lords of the Fallen. So if you're a fan of Lords of the Fallen, then you may want to check this out. Anyway, this is on PC, but I am using a controller because, well, it's a third-person character fighter, you know, spectacle fighter kind of thing, you know, RPG. So, I, you know, a controller is a little bit easier for me, and that's what we're going to be using. Anyway, as you can see, we can lock on very similar to how Dark Souls does things, and then we can also use horizontal attacks and vertical attacks. So, let's do this. I, I, I don't actually know how to how to really do that. Yeah, ooh, very, very nice. Look at that. We can dodge very, very quickly. But as you can see in the top left, we have some stamina. So obviously the stamina is going to make a difference to how much you're able to do. Ooh, yeah, take that. Thank you very much. And as you can see, we're picking up tech scrap. Now the whole, shall we say, I, I don't want to really call it a gimmick, but the whole gameplay mechanic surrounding the Surge is that you can dismember enemies and take their parts and use them for yourself. So that's how you get upgrades and things. Every attack and action consumes stamina, so watch your stamina meter, of course. Yeah, as you can see, every single action, including running around and doing amazing things. Okay, so, yes, let's dodge. Yeah, take that. Yes, okay, so the dodging is quite, I, I don't know, I personally find it quite difficult, but obviously, I'm, you know, this is the first time I'm actually getting into combat, so let's see if I can do something a little bit here. There we go. Take that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me all your scrap. Thank you very much. Defeat enemies to gain tech scrap. And I, I'm wondering whether there are any secrets and things, but I think it's the tutorial level, so I would assume not, but you never know, there probably is going to be some in the near future. And now what's this? Ah, hold that to block attacks. Okay, so we're going to be doing that. And we can't move while we're blocking. So just so you know, we can't move while that's happening. But there does seem to be a bit of a counter-attack system in place as well. So when you block, you then immediately attack and you do a little bit of a more unique animation than the regular sort of just, you know, s just hacking and smashing them and all that sort of thing. Anyway, let's have a look and see the surrounding area. You can also heal. When locked on, using this while holding that enables you to switch the target lock to a specific enemy. Aha, like that, for example. You press to quickly switch. Okay, so you can just press that as well to quickly switch. Okay, so that's fantastic. That's actually pretty cool. And I'm going to try and dodge out of the way. Oh, really? I dodged into it? That is just like me, isn't it? New implant. Ah, okay, so let's... Let's open the... No. How do we open the backpack? I think... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Yeah, it's back. The back button. Okay, so as you can see, we have a number of different slots here. Right arm, right leg, left arm, left leg, body gear, all that sort of thing. And as you can see, we're using a reclaimed piston at the moment. And as you can see at the top, we have a number of other things right here. And, well, most notably, we have implants. And these implants obviously take... A variety of core power so as you can see we're currently using well technically we're currently using three and if we use another thing like for example this this will display enemy health gauges and that's going to use I, I actually don't even know how much that's going to use how much is it going to use I, I don't know it, it, it seems it seems it's still going to be three so that's absolutely fine Oh yeah, no, it doesn't use any. As you can see, it actually does not use any, so that's fantastic. Okay, so there is also another implant that we have here, which is a proximity sensor. And I think I'm actually going to be using that too, because that triggers a sound when there are items or secrets. So as I mentioned, there are going to be secrets. And of course, you have an inventory here with broken parts, consumables, schematics, and components. And broken gear will be automatically disassembled into crafting components when using the gear assembly. Then of course, you have the organizer here. 
and we have specs. And obviously this is just all your stats. You can see your elemental slash crush thrust defense, energy gain, elemental damage slash damage, and so on and so forth. So very, very in-depth, very similar to RPGs like Dark Souls and things like that. And I don't think that comparison is a bad thing either because Dark Souls is a great game. And from what I can tell so far, the Surge is also very, very interesting. So let's move over here. Ah, oh, there's a med bay. Form detected. Your power core seems to be defective. A working power core is needed to use all your Exo Rigs features. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Please contact your Exo Rig supply officer to acquire a new power core. Yeah, so there you go. So we need to find and exchange our defective power core. Or can we do it now? No, no, it seems like we need to find it. So let's go and do that. Actually, just use the med bay to level up core power change implant setup refresh health and restore implant uses so as you can see the implants do have limited uses are you receiving hello can you hear me are you still there your rig has been damaged its distress beacon has been triggered you need to get back into the factory. Ah, we even have some conversation options right here. Okay, so the rig is damaged. I've just been attacked. How do I get to the factory? How do I select these? Ah, up and... Oh, okay, so... Yes, I got it. So, the rig is damaged? The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. Well, how do I get to the factory? Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend walking. But there should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from ops. On my way. Be careful. And don't forget to replace the power core of your rig or you're not going to get very far. Right, so... Can I actually replace it right now? Or... Let's actually just take a look here. No, fault detected. Yeah, okay, that's absolutely fine. So, can I can I use this now? No, no, fault detected. Okay, so, never mind. I, it seems like I do need to go outside and actually find a power core. So, let's actually take a look outside here. So, where do I need to go? Well, I can assume that I probably need to go this way. Because we've just come from the other direction. Visit operations to craft items and change your implant loadout. Well, we're absolutely fine as it is. We have three charges of heals. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we're now... Oh my! Okay, that's a that's a rather large... Whatever it is. I'm not particularly happy about that. Okay, I'm going to try and block this. Thank you very much. Kill it! Yes, kill them! Oh, there's, oh they're, they're actually pretty difficult, these ones. They're much more difficult than the ones we were fighting previously. Wow, we're getting a lot of tech scrap as well. Alright, so let's be a little bit careful now because don't want to take too much damage as we explore. And what's that? Ah, there we go, an audio log. I can't believe they just fired Dr. Chavez. After the years of hard work and dedication she's put into this company, I, I suppose that's what you get when you stand up for your convictions. The worrying thing is, she's right. I've seen the data. We've got to keep working, now more than ever. Lesser people would, would give up, but she's not one of them. And, and if she won't, I won't. Right, well, as you can see, my implant that, you know, gives me an idea about where secrets are and things is going crazy over here. So I'd like to be able to find whatever it's actually pointing me at, but it seems like I'm unable to for some reason. Maybe I need to hit this or something? No, it doesn't seem... Maybe it's in there? I have no idea. I actually have no idea what's what's really going on there. And I just used the heal by mistake. Well, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. Because I was just thinking, oh, let me roll real quick. Yeah, let me just roll. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on. Well, locked on. Move that in direction to target enemy body parts. Yes. So, as you can see, I can target his right arm if I so desire. I can also target his unarmored head. So, let's attack him. Oh yeah, that's some nice damage, that's some nice damage, okay. Come on. Vertical attacks, yes. 
Alright, so is that going to explode? I should probably avoid that. Thank you very much. Okay, what's going on with... What, literally, what is going on with this item detection thing? Because from what I can tell, it's telling me... Ah! There we go! That's what we need. Thank you very much. Ooh, new implant acquired. Oh, well, that's that's very nice. Okay, so let's actually just take a look at the implant that we just acquired. Maybe it's going to be something cool. Okay, so where is it? Vital boost. It gives us health. Scales with core power. Right, so change implant at medbay. So obviously I can't do it right now. I need to go to the medbay, but obviously I can't do that because I need a new power core. So let's... Let's actually just go this way, because I think I was actually... Mi was I missing? I was mi definitely missing an item over there, but I don't know. I think I've spent way too much time doing it anyway, so let's just go this way. Attack unarmored body parts to do more damage to your enemies. Okay, so the unarmored part is what? His left arm. Take that! Okay, now we can move away a little bit here. Ooh, very responsive, I've got to say. Very, very responsive. The the attack animations are extremely responsive. Obviously, <laughs> I'm not very good when it comes to not taking damage, as you can see. Ah, that was bad. Okay, what about the head? Let's try and kill the head, shall we? Okay, come on. No. Take that. Yes. Ooh, so as you can see... Pretty difficult, pretty difficult to fight in this game so far. Obviously, I do need to get used to it. I'm not very, no, yeah, I'm not very used to it so far. But yeah, I'm actually just wondering where all these items are as well. There's there's a lot of items that I think I might actually be missing right now. There's probably one in there. Let's go in here. Ah, hello there. Okay. Okay, so this guy, yeah, this guy, no. Uh, uh, maybe, I, maybe I can just avoid getting killed by him, please. Okay, we need to be careful. Ah, oh, really? Okay, well, that's okay. Nice. All right. So, now we can pick up this small pile of rare material scrap. Piles of tech scrap can be consumed from, in, from within your inventory to instantly provide you with new Tech scrap. All right, so let's go over there and do that. Consumables. Let's use it. There you go. So now we have quite a lot. We have 1,200. Very nice. All right, so let's have a look here. Right arm. Okay, head seems pretty decent. Whoa, okay. Seems to have a pretty cool weapon, this guy. Need to be a little bit careful about getting attacked by him. Because I have a feeling that if I were to be... Whoa, okay. Yeah, I have a feeling that if I were to be attacked by this guy, probably going to take a huge amount of damage. Seems to have a pretty big weapon. Okay, and it also can charge at you. So let's be let's be a bit worried about it, shall we? Okay, yep, yeah, kill him. Ah, oh, no, okay. No, never, not, not going to happen. Need to attack the head. There we go. Okay, so power core acquired. Return it to the med bay to restore your exo rig's full functionality. Fantastic. Okay, so there's also... What's this? Intact power core needed to overcharge. Aha! Alright, so obviously we do need to go back and see what we can do about these things. I'd like to go over here and get this first, though. There you go. And there's a bunch of extra items in the area. Listen... You need to upgrade your power core or replace it, otherwise you ain't getting through that door. If you keep trying to overload it without the proper power capacity, security is going to end up all over your ass. We've come too far to get caught now. Those implants are worth thousands. This is our golden ticket out of here, man. Don't screw it up. Do you require assistance, Warren? I, I think I probably do, actually. I think I do require assistance. Okay, so where is it? I have to go here, I assume. There you go. Fault resolved. Your power core has been detected. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can use the med bay to bank your collected tech scrap. If the total amount of tech scrap you own is high enough, you can level up the total core power of your exorig. All equipped gear and implants consume a portion of your total core power, as we know. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's, I, I'm actually going to replace the proximity sensor because I'm, I'm finding the 
noise that it makes a little bit irritating at the moment. And if you're obviously wanting to try and find, you know, all the all the items and things, then that's absolutely fine and that's that's up to you. Right now, I'm not really interested in that so much. So, what is this? Mechanized counterweight applies a physical damage boost to weapons. That's very nice. Maybe we can add that over here. There you go. That's cool. Okay, so what's this? Implant slot unlocks at core power 15. Okay, so I should probably level up my core power, shouldn't I? Okay. There you go. Alright, I could, I could increase it again. Let's increase it again. Why not? Alright, so bank the tech scrap. So you can actually bank your tech scrap as well. So it's not on you. Connection to database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. And that means that if you die, you're obviously not going to lose your tech scrap. But that's that's where it that's where it's kind of similar to Dark Souls in that respect. Anyway, let's go in and redeem this voucher. There you go. Thank you very much. Ooh, we're gaining some nice schematics there. And we can get some... Ooh, yeah, we can get some crafting on. New gear parts can be crafted from schematics by holding that when all required components are available. To change the mark you wish to craft, use this. Okay, so obviously... I cannot craft this at all. I'm going to need a Force Regulator Mark 1, as well as 788 tech scrap. Obviously, I don't have any of that, so I will be unable to do it, as far as I'm aware. And, as you can see, each part also has different mark levels. So, if you want to craft a Mark 1, obviously that is the cheapest and the easiest to make. But it is also the weakest. So, if you take a look at the upgrades system here as well, you can bank your tech scrap. Yeah, of course you can. Use tech scrap and crafting components to craft and upgrade your gear. Upgrading equipment increases its mark. Upgraded weapons will deal more damage in combat and upgraded armor will increase defense. So, if I wanted to, I could improve my... <laughs> my reclaimed piston, which is currently... I, well, basically not even Mark 1 at the moment. So, I could upgrade that, but I can't because I don't have enough, you know resources and things. So let's go out here, I guess. And then we'll be going and making our way over to... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, these guys are alive again. Yes, Dark Souls-esque. Strike enemies to build up energy, then hold that to perform finishing moves. Aha! Excellent. Okay, so let's do that. Can I cut off their... cut off his right arm? Maybe? No? Okay, yeah, yeah. Can I can I not cut that off? Okay, oh, I have to cut off his other arm. Oh, okay. Or, or not? Okay, that's... That, okay, I have no idea. Strike enemies, then hold X to perform finishing moves. Okay, that's what I'm actually doing. Ah, there we go. Alright, okay. Never mind, there is actually a prompt. So, my bad. But yes, as you can see, there's actually a lot of blood as well, which is really quite cool. Because I feel like in games like Dark Souls, they don't really show you that much, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, we have now gained a Lynx arm, so if we wanted to go back and craft that, we could. But obviously, as it is right now, I'm probably just going to be damaged and cut weapons and armored body parts to get new equipment. Ow. Ow. Yes, please heal me. Thank you very much. Okay, so, yes gonna try and cut this off if I can. Can I do it? Yep, I think I can. Oh yeah, take that. Oh yeah, very nice. I like it. I like the finishing moves. They're very, very satisfying. You know what I mean? When, when I say satisfying, it's kind of those things where it feels good to perform these actions. That's what I mean by that, obviously. So, let's continue onward, and hopefully we'll be able to cut off this guy's arm. I'd love to be able to get his right arm. I think that would be really, really cool. So let's see if I can make that happen. It's going to be a bit difficult, because I think this guy's quite tricky. Yeah, we're going to be very, very careful here. I could use blocking, obviously, if I wanted to. Yeah, let's take it. Let's get that arm. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And we can pick up these things. Obviously, scrap. And I just picked up an Astia Spectrobite. Right. Okay, so if we take a look at our weapons, 
I can actually equip one of these. So I think I'm going to equip this. <laughs> that looks hilarious because it is a massive thing. Absolutely massive. Stability is very, very low. So, for example, if you wanted to have something that was a little bit faster, then you could use the Vibro Cutter. And maybe I'm going to use that, actually. Hmm, no. No, I think I'm actually just going to try this out, see how it does. But as you can see, we can actually use this Rhino Arm Gear as well. So, yeah, this is exactly what I meant by you can slice off limbs and you can use them on your own equipment. So now I have two gear, two, two pieces of gear from the Rhino, but obviously this is using core power. This is using core power. And as you can see, I don't have enough to be able to use the left leg. So that's fine. I'm just going to have to go as it is. And we're going to be overcharging this power circuit. Uh, yeah, see, it felt like I was getting electrocuted there for a second. All right, so we can now head onward. But I think for now, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. And next time, we're going to be remembering to cut enemy body parts to get new equipment and crafting material. <laughs> of course, we're just going to keep continue going through the game and having a lot of fun in the process. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.